all of a sudden this van came out of nowhere. And I swerved and I was able to record all this. I'm not gonna lie, I got so pissed off and I chased him and I pulled up next to him just honking and honking and I looked at him and see what you know what his reaction was and this dude wasn't even looking at me and I, I'm pretty sure he knows because I was honking right behind him I, I pulled up really close behind him to capture his plates it was inches away from just getting I don't know total maybe but it was nerve-wracking because as soon as I saw that I swerved to the right I didn't have time to look to my right if I had a, if there was a car on the right lane or their lane on, on the right of me I didn't have time to do that I just swerved and you know it was slippery at that time so I was fishtailing a little bit and I was able to regain control of the car. The video does not do justice on you know the experience itself but that was nerve wracking and as much as I want to control my emotions that really pissed me off so I had to chase him. I'm not gonna lie at that point I had road rage. Oh. <sighs> How can you not see me because I was driving in the middle lane and he was on my left lane and I don't know just I just can't understand how he would just switch lanes without looking but even if he didn't look I'm pretty sure he could see me I don't know if he's oblivious don't know what the f he's doing but that really pissed me off I try my best to be calm when I'm driving try to think about other drivers as a person rather than an object that's really what happens when you have road rage because you look at the other driver not as a person anymore but just as an object but when stuff like this happens it just pisses you off so if you're that kind of driver just do pay attention if I had an accident and you know something bad happened and at least I was able to get the footage out of it to show my insurance that it wasn't my fault this dude just literally just dumped in my lane even though the insurance would cover it just it breaks my heart you know and most of us if you're watching this video and you have a Bronco you take care of that thing <sighs> I'm still pissed off but luckily nothing happened I'm making this video to kind of show you what are the advantages of having a dash cam it's a it's a small investment and I made a video about how to install your dash cam in your Bronco there's different ways the one I opt in is to have a constant power on the Bronco so even if it's parked somebody tries to open it from the back or on the side you'll be able to capture footage but you can have different dash cams that will just install right on your dash and it only activates when you turn on the car when you're driving. That is better than not having at all. It's a peace of mind. You'll never really know when you need it until you do. We have a saying in the army that it's better to have it and not need it and need it and not have it. Word of advice, if you value your car, you like, you know, for some of us, car is not just a vehicle that gets you from point A to point B. It's a toy. For me, it's a toy. It's, you know, I feel like a little boy having a, a nice toy that I love so much and my Bronco is one of them. So if you value your Bronco, I highly suggest put dash cams on it. I put one in the front and one in the back just in case. It's a small investment, it's a peace of mind, but when you do need it and you don't have it, oh man, I'd hate to be you. You'd wish you had one of them. Well, thanks for watching this a short video for today. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you later. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.